headline number one, Hive is doing micro fulfillment. It's back. Uh, according to Change the Rage, Hive is deploying takeoff technologies, micro fulfillment technology in select stores to support its Isles Online omnichannel grocery ordering service. Hive intends to make the Isle on Isles Online order picking process more efficient for those employees shopping orders. And according to research by Takeoff Technologies, retailers can use micro fulfillment capabilities to fulfill an average of 25 items with five minutes of labor and increase productivity of online fulfillment by up to 10 times when combined with the work of human associates. Chris, this is pretty big news. I mean, this has been all over. We've It's going, it's coming, it's here, it's there. Right. It's, people are shifting ideas, but this is a big announcement from hy V. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, and I'm going to try to channel my best Al Pacino here for this episode because I think it's very, very um, apropos, so they say. And the more I think about micro-fulfillment, it pulls me back in because don't get that. you know, don't get Godfather understand. three and Jesus, your movie knowledge is so dire at times. Like you got, I, we, we need to do like a crash course in great movie line in movie lines in history because that you just got to pick it up. All right. So anyway, back Let's to go the back point, to micro fulfillment. Yes. Back Let's, to micro. No one cares about my worthless movie knowledge. Let's move on. <laughs> Well, I do, but anyway, all right. So, and the point I'm making is we had, com the reason I say that is we had companies on our podcast like Domatic just like two months ago, end of August, who basically said micro fulfillment was drying up, but yet we still know it's happening overseas in Europe, which, which I'm getting from our, our new sponsors, TGW, that, you know, it's still happening very, very well over there. And so then you have a, a high V announcing this with takeoff. And so the question becomes, what does that mean? To your point. So like, to me, it means the value of figuring out the savings from automation is still on the minds of grocers and God dang, right. Like rightly so. Yeah. Uh, because you have to figure that you have to figure out how to do e-commerce more profitably. So it also, the second point I would make, it gives more credence to the argument I made a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember how long ago it was when Kroger had the announcement of the full stop with Ocado. And I was thinking maybe that they just had the wrong solution and they were learning that mm -hmm. through their partnership with their new merger talks with Albertsons because Albertsons could be saying like, hey, we got a different way of doing this. It could be just as valuable. Yeah, and through the sort output, yeah, they would have access to seeing what- yeah, They know they know that data, right? And so hy is now going in this direction too. So it makes me wonder what's going on. And sources I trust in the industry tell me that actually might be what's going on. So as I put that in the market, people are like, yeah, you might be onto something there, Chris. So- so yeah, so I think this is big. It shows that maybe it's not slowing down like some have previously thought. And God damn, it's going to be fun to watch. I can't wait because I think it, to me, it's a no brainer to try to figure this out. I don't think coming to a full stop makes a ton of sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree, Chris. I don't think we need to preach to anybody listening. Our listeners have heard Takeoff was a sponsor year, you know, for, for yeah. the past five. We don't need to preach on the value of micro fulfillment. Um, ultimately it's just, it's faster. It's going to be faster. It requires minimum labor. It doesn't require the onboarding time. Remember when we went to Sedano's to do shoot yes, a video I mean, down there? I mean, I, I have, I had never been in yeah. that area of that store the in the back of house. And within minutes, I was able to fulfill an order. It's so intuitive. Yeah. So super easy. Plus I think there's a real opportunity here. I mean, hy V has a lot of components to it. And so if you can speed up the picking and for the, the shelf stable items in the back of the house, and even some of the refrigerated and frozen items, there's an opportunity here for them to start exploring things like what we saw with Target and curbside, where you're doing curbside delivery and pickup of prepared foods. Like they, they've already launched that program during the pandemic. There's uh, opportunities here to put, you know, prescriptions pick up into this, even reverse logistics, potentially taking things back now, all because they figured out how to do faster fulfillment with less human labor in the back of the house. And now they have that ability to put that towards other programming, especially with their curbside programming that they've been doing for the last several years and that they increased during the pandemic. So I think there's a lot of opportunity that this will unlock once hy V continues to ex uh, expand this to more stores. Yeah. And that's, a, that's like the next stage, right? Like the yeah. now is strictly like the picking the shelf stable goods, yes. trying to pick the refrigerated and the frozen. 
getting micro fulfillment into the prepared foods and into the pharmacy is, is a whole nother ball game. Not micro fulfillment. Sorry. I should oh. clarify. I'm talking about like when you have micro fulfillment in the back of the house with requiring less labor to help pick those items for okay. the grocery orders that unlocks availability within your workforce to start helping facilitate faster other programs like bringing that require, you know, a human labor to bring the prepared right, foods right. there to bring RX to, you know, pick curbside pickup and really just making it an ultimately more convenient experience because you're not dedicated to people walking the aisles or picking from the back of house. Right. Great point. So there's the efficiency claims that like you read from takeoff, but there's also the operational redeployment of your current staff to do other things exactly. that are also required in the future evolution of your store operation. Yeah. Exactly. 100%.